Welcome to the video supplement for McGraw-Hill's Medical Simulation. In this scenario, I feel bloated, we look at our patient, Mary Kalanick, a 76-year-old suffering from nausea and vomiting. Today's simulation objective is to auscultate the bowel sounds. Your goal should include your approach to the patient and the ability to auscultate bowel sounds. Along with the essential clinical skills, your instructors will be looking for the mandatory cleaning of your stethoscope, washing your hands, wearing your gloves, and demonstrating a proper introduction to your patient, including checking the patient name and birthday on the ID bracelet with that on the medical records. Now let's join our healthcare professional Rebecca and her student Holly as we learn to listen to breath sounds. Hi, my name is Rebecca, I'm an instructor, and this is Holly, she's a student. For our patients, we have Mary Kalonic, she's 76 years old, and she's had pencil-like stools for the past several weeks. And she, today she's complaining of nausea and she's vomiting. So in our scenario today, we're going to listen for bowel sounds. Now I'd like for you to introduce yourself to the patient. Hello, Ms. Kalonic. I'm Holly, and I'm a student, and Rebecca and I are going to do your patient assessment today. How are you feeling? I feel bloated. Don't worry, we're going to take care of you. At this point, I want you to confirm the patient's identity. This is Mary, and the birth dates match with the armband and my medical records. In today's assessment procedure, we're gonna be listening for bowel sounds. Today, we're gonna to listen to the four quadrants, the left upper quadrant, the right upper quadrant, left lower quadrant, and the right lower quadrant. We warm the head of the stethoscope by cupping it in our hands, and now we listen to the bowel sounds in all four quadrants. Go ahead and put your stethoscope on and listen to the four quadrants for 30 seconds. Here's the right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, Left lower quadrant, right lower quadrant. What did you hear? It didn't sound like much activity in the lower right and left quadrants. That's right, those are hypoactive bowel sounds which are consistent of an obstruction and usually have obstipation or constipation. Obstipation is no stool, no gas, and constipation is gas but no stool. And now it's your turn. Don't forget to wash your hands, clean your stethoscope, put on your gloves, and check your patient's name on the bracelet against that of the medical record. The first thing we do is clean our earbuds. We warm the head of the stethoscope by cupping it in our hands. And now I'm going to listen in each quadrant for bowel sounds. Here's the right upper quadrant, the left upper quadrant, the left lower quadrant, and the right lower quadrant. And how long would you typically listen to each quadrant? Around 30 seconds. And what are your findings? I didn't hear much activity in the lower right and left quadrants, which results in hypoactivity, which means there could be an obstruction, which leads to obstipation or constipation. That's exactly right. Obstipation is no stool, no gas, and constipation is gas but no stool. Now, notate your findings on your student simulation worksheet. And throw your gloves away and wash your hands. And that's how you assess bowel sounds on the Laerdal simulator. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to your success in this demonstration. I'm Lauren Corbett from McGraw-Hill's Medical Simulation Work Text.